Okay, so what we will be doing today is that we're going to unbox um, this Indigo Angel Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue and Charles Virtue, which I got a few weeks back. So I'm kind of excited. And so if you would like to join me in unboxing um, this beautiful Oracle Cards. Um, actually, um, I really like Doreen Virtue. Um, it was years ago when I stumbled on her channel because I've been watching tarot um, at YouTube um, and also some astrologers and then some of them were actually using um, the romance angels and that's how I actually came to know more about um, Doreen Virtue. But um, last year, which is 2018, I was like bombarded with a, with a lot of synchronicities, with a lot of repeating numbers and I happened to check out um, her website. And I learned a lot of things about when you, whenever you see 111 or 1111, 555, 444, all of those repeating numbers was crazy last year. And um, that's how I also, you know, came to know um, Doreen Virtue. But I know it, there's a controversy around her, but we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so we will unbox this. I believe it's a 44 card. Yeah, it says here, 44 card deck and guidebook. And then at the end of this, we'll do a short reading, okay? So as early as now, think of a question that you have in mind that you needed guidance for, whatever that is. And then um, it depends how many um, cards are going to pop out, um, but that's going to be your message. And I think I'm going to have like three choices here, okay? So but before we do that, let's actually do the unboxing real quick. I hope that this is not going to be a really long um, video, okay? But I just wanted to unbox this in front of you guys. All right, so this is the guidebook. It shows um, the meaning of each card of the 44 cards that we will be having here, uh, that we will be showing rather to you guys. So yeah, and that is Doreen Virtue. There you go. Some angelic messages. Okay, now let's proceed. And now I'm gonna show you the cards. Wow, I love the cards. I love the feel of the cards. It's very glossy. It's not too big as well. Yeah, it's not too big, but it's glossy. I love the feel of the cards. So let me show you real quick um, about the cards that we have here. So the first one will be acceptance. Okay. The next one would be allow love. I hope you can see it because of the glare. Let's just try to fix it because the glare of the camera. All right, there you go, better. We have apologize. Then we have Archangel Metatron. By the way, um, just to share to you, Archangel Metatron is actually a human being before he became an Archangel Metatron, okay? And then next would be Archangel Michael. Very significant for me, by the way, um, just to share to you guys, because um, I was told by a, a psychic who's also a friend um, that majority of my guides are actually angels or, yeah, the divine, so... Uh, my main guide is actually Archangel Michael and Archangel Gabriel. So this is very significant for me. And uh, I wasn't surprised when he told me, not like totally surprised, but when I was informed that those are actually my main guides. Um, it was like a light bulb moment, moment for me because I've been always calling upon Archangel Michael for protection. So yeah, that's beautiful. Look at that. And the next card we have, Ask for a Sign. Next one would be authority. Okay. Next one would be believe in yourself. That's awesome. We have compassion. Blue wings. Next one would be divine purpose. Okay. Divine timing. Yes. Believe in divine timing, guys. Let it unfold. Then we have dreams. Oh my gosh, I love her. I love her dress. So pretty. 
I love the color too. Next would be Explore. Next one, Expression. Oh, beautiful. Look at her wings. It's like, it's so pretty. Different colors and all that, different hues. Okay. Next one, we have Freedom. Then we have Friendship. Okay. Just adjust the camera. And then we have Health. Next one, learn something new. Look through the situation. Oh, beautiful. Love yourself. Yes, yeah, self-love. And she's so pretty. Next, we have make a wish. Manifest. Mother Mary. So beautiful. Then we have nature. Patience. Physical outlet. Just like dancing here. Self-expression as well. Yeah. We have pray. Release, relax. I love her angel wings. Yeah. Self-care. Self-reflection. Send love. I love the illustration too. Share your wisdom. Okay. Shielding. Show appreciation. Stay. <laughs> so cute. Look at those two. Yeah. It's so cute. And then we have Think About It. Next, we have Time to Create. Then we have Trust. Okay. You already know. You are love. So beautiful. Look at that. You are not alone. You are safe. And that unicorn is so big. <laughs> so huge. And so mighty. Mighty unicorn. You are special. I always see this card, you know, whenever I watch pick a card reading. Yeah. And then you are understood, which is the last card. All right. So, yeah, these cards are so freaking beautiful. I love it. I really love it. I love the feel of the cards. And um, let me just actually fix it real quick. I love the feel of the cards. Um, it's really glossy. And um, I want to try shuffling it in front of you because, again, if you can't wait because I do real-time shuffling, I just wanted to show you that I'm actually shuffling the cards and not just picking out any cards because after this, we're going to do um, your messages, all right? Short, quick messages, but, you know, hopefully um, this will be of help um, to you to provide you guidance. So, um, yeah. Wow. Actually, I love shuffling these cards because some of the cards or decks, rather, that I actually tried, they're so hard to shuffle. They're thick. This one is not too thick, and it's not too hard to shuffle as well. Okay. So, anyway, I'm just actually shuffling it right now so you can really see that. I have mixed them all up and all that. Okay, before we actually proceed to the reading. Whoa. Okay. We just fix it real quick yeah but if you can't wait you can just simply click on the timestamps that I'm just gonna provide later on or below uh, the description box all right so again before we start think of a question 
think of a question that you have in mind that you needed guidance for. Whatever that is, um, whether you're going to get two or three cards, we don't know. Um, but that will be your guided messages from this Oracle cards. All right. So, yeah, I'm just shuffling it real well just to make sure we got it all mixed up. Okay. And one more shuffle. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's choose some crystals now. Let's see. All right. First crystal, if this is your choice, this will be number one. Choice number one will be the amethyst. Okay. Next one would be, let's see. Okay. Let's try the blue calcite. This is for choice number two. Okay. And then for number three, we'll try the rainbow fluorite. You can pause the video if you want to focus on the crystal. Let me just actually... Yeah, there you go. So again, this is number one, the amethyst. Number two will be the blue calcite. And number three will be the rainbow fluorite. Okay. And so let's get started. Okay. Check real quick. So that's... 1120 amethyst okay <laughs> all right let's get started so again hopefully you were able to think about the question that you have that you need a guidance for and we'll see what your messages or message are depending on how many cards are going to pop out okay all right so spirit can you provide guidance for those who chose the amethyst crystal what message do they need to hear for their question what guided messages do they need to hear spirit What guided messages does the amethyst people, those who chose the amethyst crystal, what guidance do they need to hear? Okay, let me just actually. Okay, there we go. You have one card that popped out. Let's see what that is. I'm excited. Oh my gosh, <laughs> self-care. Okay, there you go. So that is your message. Take good care of yourself, self-care. Okay, let's put your card over here so you can see it. I hope you can see it. Hold on, there you go. And then we'll read it here from this guidebook. Let me check what number that is for self-care. Okay, that will be page 38. All right, so for those who chose the amethyst, this is your message. You can pause it if you want, if you can just, you know, go back to it. But let me read it as well. Oh, this is actually self-reflection. I'm sorry about that. Self-care. There you go. Self-care. Um, make sure you're not giving to the point of creating lack in your own life. As an indigo, you feel compassion for the world because of your divine mission. As a result, you sometimes become generous to a fault. You may not see this as a problem. However, this card is telling you that you must be aware of your own needs in life. Make sure that you're doing enough for yourself so that if you don't suffer due to your generosity, allow yourself to feel how great it is to have your needs met and trust that those around you are guided by their angels to ensure that all of theirs are taken care of too. You are here on earth to help, but you're not everyone's problem solver. That's so true. The greatest gift you can give others is to ask their angels to awaken and guide them to their unique purpose. So there, there goes your message, self-care. This is very important for me because I tend to also um, to become this way. I can resonate with this because I am an overly giving person. And that's something that I really need to work on. Sometimes I always put the needs of others before myself. But universe or the angels are actually asking you to care for yourself, you know, um, to think about yourself this time. Um, it is okay to be generous, but to become too overly generous and you're not getting anything back, you know, you have to reflect on that one. It's time for you basically to, you know, to love yourself, you know to to take good care of yourself you know make sure that your needs are also met okay so yeah i could really resonate with this because i 
you know, I need to work on that as well. Being an empath, I love to help people, but there are times that you get drained and all that. So you can also be an empath if you're, if you chose this um, amethyst card, um, the first pick, you know, it can be an empath. Um, you're very caring person I could sense your energy right now like you're very very caring indeed you're very much the type of person that loves to please others as well to make sure that they are okay and all that you ask how they're doing and all that you know um but sometimes um especially when you're not get, getting anything back you know your energy gets depleted so the universe or the angels are asking you to take good care of yourself this time okay so whatever it is um that you know you ask um this is your message you know they're asking you um to do something for yourself that you don't suffer because of your being overly generous to people you know so yeah this is a very beautiful message okay all right so that is it. Short, sweet. Um, those who chose this amethyst um, crystal. Now let's proceed to the next one would be the blue calcite. And I'm going to pause the video because I need to mix them up real quick. I want to make sure that they're well shuffled first. Okay, hold on. All right. Okay, so for those who chose the blue calcite, let's begin with your guided messages. So, all right, so Spirit, what is the guided messages for those who chose the blue calcite? What is the guided message or messages for those who chose the blue calcite? What is the guided message or messages for those who chose? Oh my God, you have a lot of cards, but I think that's way too much. I have a feeling that we need to do it again. Okay, so bear with me. What is the guided messages for those who chose uh, the blue calcite? Cards are popping out and flying out. <laughs> what is the guided message for those who chose the blue calcite? Whoa, okay, all right. So you got two cards here. All right, let me show you real quick. So the two cards you got, believe in yourself, all right? And then the next card you got too, look through the situation carefully maybe. Yeah, let me just actually, I hope you can see it because of the glare and all that. Let me just focus. All right, so those are your messages and we're going to read let me put this over here so you can see it. Okay, so first message you got, believe in yourself and then look through the situation. Hmm. Let me get the guidebook here. Believe in yourself, that's page 16. Okay. All right. So you can pause um, the video if you want, if you want to go back to it. But this is your message. Believe in yourself. It says here, when you receive this card, the angels want you to see yourself and your potential the way they do. They view you as an unlimited person with infinite potential. Right now, the most important thing you can do is realize this for yourself. Ask the angels to release any doubt or fear you have about your life and your path. Those doubts are part of being an indigo because you're strongly affected by negative energy. By believing in yourself, you're telling the angels that you wish to live up your full potential in this life. And they will take immediate action to guide you accordingly. Wow, beautiful message. And for some reason while reading it, I really heard the word confidence. Yeah, confidence. So that's really strong, okay? Um, you probably have some, you know, confidence issues, like probably thinking that maybe I can't do it or maybe, you know, um, I don't think I'm ready for it or I don't think I'm worth worthy for some reason. So, yeah. So the angels are asking you to believe in yourself, right? Whatever that is that you have in mind, you have definitely infinite potential. Okay. So I hope this really actually is a confirmation for you from the universe that, Whatever it is that you're thinking about, whether you're trying to pursue a career, a hobby, or whether what it, what, whatever it is that you're doing right now and you feel like you're not good enough, 
um, you are. This is a confirmation from the universe telling you that you are actually, you know, you are um, capable of whatever it is that you're, you're, you're wanting to pursue or whatever it is that you're doing right now. I don't know why I'm saying that, but for some reason, I, I, I just got that. Um, I heard that pretty strongly. So, yeah, whatever that is. This may not resonate for everybody, but there's like a strong message for someone out there. I could, you know, really sense like whoever you are, it's like you have really some confident and self is confidence and self-esteem issues, you know? So whatever it is that you're thinking about, whether that's a career or a person that you wanted to pursue, um, yeah, believe in yourself, okay? So let's take a look at your second card, um, second message, which is look through the situation here. Wow, that's beautiful. That's pretty strong. So look through the situation. That is actually page 28. All right. Okay. So you can pause the video if you want. So you can go back and take a look at the message over here. But let me read it right now. Okay. Look through the situation. As an indigo, you may get caught up in the emotions in a situation and feel stressed or frightened. This card reminds you that life will continue long after you've gotten through this challenge and forgotten all about it. The angels ask you to concentrate on the good things in your life and see beyond whatever is going on around you. One of the best ways to find resolution is by releasing the situation and allowing yourself to feel relief. Take time to relax and imagine what it will feel like when this trying time is over. Trust that the angels hear your prayers loud and clear and will help you with resolving every aspect of this situation. And again, I got this message strongly in my head right now, um, which is, you know, connected to the first card, believe in yourself. Definitely this had something to do as well. Um, whoever chose um, the blue calcite. Did you know that this crystal is actually a crystal for relaxation? So whoever is watching this, you might be a person who's, uh, you're suffering from anxiety attacks. You try to, or you tend to, not try, you tend to overthink. I really feel your energy. So, and it's funny because you chose the blue calcite. Blue calcite is a crystal, good crystal to actually um, calm you down. It's a very calming stone or crystal. It relaxes you. So this is really funny because the two cards that you got, it's basically, um, um, the angels are actually asking you to take time for yourself, relax, don't overthink, okay, and don't think negatively. That's the strong message that I'm getting uh, when I actually read the second card, I mean the second message. So I could see the connection between the first card and the second card that whoever you are, you might be thinking very negatively about a situation and you're not feeling so confident about it, like you're about to give up on something, like you feel, again, there's that self-worth issue or self-esteem and self-confidence issue. So yeah, don't stress yourself. You mean, I mean, you have the potential, whatever that is, if that's a job, a dream job that you wanted or a person that you're actually trying to pursue. You are worthy of that. Okay. So, um, yeah, I could really just feel that you tend to overthink, you try to think negatively, and definitely what will manifest are negative things or situation as well. So pay attention to your to your thoughts, okay? Pay attention to what it is you're thinking because it will really manifest, okay? And I just got this omen over, oh God, that's weird. I was just looking at my window and I saw a bird just peeping in. But anyway, um, yeah, that's the message for you. So try to look into, uh, try to look through the situation, you know, meaning, um, although we've read the card, but I have this feeling that you need to let go of the control, Okay, let go. It's like you're actually trying to overthink too much. And I have a feeling you're actually thinking about the worst thing that could happen before it could happen, you know? So, yeah, try to release those negative thoughts. Let it flow. Be in the flow. And whenever, you know, a tip for you, whenever you're feeling this, like you're feeling um, in, in a negative way, you know, try to ask help from the universe. And try to calm yourself down. Basically, that is a strong message um, by the angels here, the message of God. Like, calm yourself, rest your mind, because it seems like you're, um, I could really sense your energy, like you have this anxiety attack, um, 
You could be an air sign, by the way. Um, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini watching this, or you have that in your chart. But yeah, just relax and trust, okay? Trust in your... I'm pretty sure you've been praying for this. So trust because your angels heard that loud and clear. And trust in the process, okay? So yeah, wow. That is a really beautiful reading for, for, for those who chose the blue calcite. It's just weird because this is a crystal for... For, um, you know, for um, relaxation, to calm yourself, to relax yourself. So maybe you also need to um, to get yourself a blue calcite just to calm yourself. Or just, you know, take a time out and try to meditate maybe, you know. Um, just pay attention to your thoughts. Because I really have this strong feeling that your thoughts are, wow. You have a lot of, like, monkey mind chatter in your head that is really not good for you okay so whenever you feel that way pause breathe relax okay and maybe you try to work on this um blue calcite crystal or you can also um try lapis lazuli for some reason i could feel that maybe you also have a uh blocked um throat chakra for some reason but yeah or you can go with the amethyst as well because amethyst is also very um good for um, soothing anxiety and all that. All right. So I love, um, for the, I love the, the choice number two or the blue calcite, um, message that was really strong. I really felt it. I was really, really strong. I felt the energy of the person who that was really like, you're overthinking so much, like thinking so negatively. Um, you got to pay attention to that. Try to look into the situation. Okay. And believe in yourself. You're capable. You know? And whoever you are, I really believe in you. Okay? I really believe in you, definitely. It's just weird that you're thinking negatively when the reality is actually totally the opposite. I don't know why I'm saying that right now, but maybe you're meant to hear that. Okay, anyway, this is getting too long. Um, let's proceed um, on the third crystal, which is the rainbow fluorite. Okay? I'm going to pause because I need to shuffle the cards again to make sure they're all well shuffled or well mixed up. Okay, so for those who chose this beautiful rainbow fluoride, this is your message, okay? This is your message, whatever it is that you're thinking and um, what guidance do you need or guided messages do you need to hear right at this very moment, okay? All right, so Spirit, what is the guided message or messages that we have for those who chose the fluoride crystal? What is or what are the guided messages do they need to hear? What is the guided message or guided messages does the people of choice number three need to hear right now? Hold on. Just fix it real quick. Okay, there we go. Wow, beautiful. You got the friendship card. Beautiful. All right, so let's actually read that. Let me put this over here. Let's check out the friendship card. That's actually page 25. Beautiful. All right. So here you go. You can pause it if you want to go back so you can read that. But I'm going to read it right now for you guys. Okay. So the answer to your question involves your friendships. This card is showing you how much the energy of other people is affecting you. Or it could be guiding you to open yourself up and allow others in. Friendship is a regular exchange of energy and emotion, and as an indigo, you connect more deeply than most, but can also be more closed off. Take some time to consider how the energy of friendship or lack thereof is influencing your thoughts and your opinion about yourself. It's important that you maintain an awareness of how each person in your life makes you feel inside. Well, this is a short message, but it's so deep. It's so deep, I tell you. I love it. Um, it's odd because it can be very close off, maybe. I don't know. But 
it says here, it's showing you how much the energy of other people is affecting you. Or it could be guiding you to open yourself up and allow others in. So either you're the type of person who's actually, you could be a loner or you could be very guarded, you know. You, you're probably somebody who doesn't trust easily. Yeah, but this card is also like giving you, um, you know, like a validation or confirmation that it's okay to open up. That it's okay to let other people in, you know, to let fresh new people in. You just have to be very careful. I know maybe you had some traumatic experiences. You were probably betrayed or whatever. I don't know what I'm saying this, but I'm just going to go with it, okay? But, yeah, you could be somewhat closed off or clammed up or whatever. But, yeah, um, just use your discernment, your intuition. But this is actually a confirmation that, you know, maybe the people that are actually arriving in your life are actually good for you, you know? Try to um, see as well the value of the people coming in and out of your life. Um, like they say, sometimes they are a blessing, they're a lesson, right? You know that quote, right? They're, they're, you know, sometimes people come to her life or arrive um, in her life um, as a lesson, a learning, or a blessing, okay? So, yeah, just pay attention to ha and try to make sure that you maintain that awareness of how each person in your life makes you feel inside. Or maybe there's another message that I got here and it's not gonna resonate for all of you, but I really got this strongly. Um, this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates, but there's another message that I got that maybe some of the friends that you have in your circle are actually not really good for you. I really got that strongly. So it's like, universe is giving you a tap or your angels are also giving you a message that maybe it's very important that you need to be aware okay you need to be aware of the circle that you have right now are they really your friends or is it because they are actually um getting something out of you not because they're really true friends okay it's like um use your your intuition or your discernment on this okay Make sure that you pay attention. How are they actually um, making you feel? You know, because sometimes there are friends that they're actually only there because of the fun times or the good times. But when you're actually in your lowest moment, you can't feel them at all. All right. That's a strong message for some of you. For some of you, you probably have some trust issues. Um, you could be somebody who actually doesn't allow people in easily. Uh, which is understandable because I'm, I'm also like that. But this is a confirmation that is telling you that it's okay. You know, it is okay to let people in. So especially if you just met someone right now. I don't think that this is something like uh, you had an issue with a friend. But that's, you know, a small percentage of you. But what I'm feeling here is that either uh, the scenario is you have friends right now that you know within yourself that there is something odd. Maybe it's time to let go of some of the so-called friends. Maybe they're not really your friends at all. Maybe they're actually just, you know, I hear they're buzzing something in your ear. I don't know why I said that, like buzzing something. Um, probably not a good influence or something. They're trying to influence your decisions sometimes. So you have to pay attention to that, okay? Or it could be another scenario like what I've mentioned earlier is that you're too closed off. You don't want to give somebody a chance, you know, to get to know that person well. So instead of being judgmental, you know, or probably because you had negative experiences in the past where it led you to become this way, that you're actually not allowing people to come in. You know, maybe you just met somebody and the universe, this is a confirmation that the universe or the angels are telling you it's okay, get to know that person, you know. Um... Allow them to come in, you know, just use your intuition, your your gifts of discernment, okay? So definitely this had something to do with friendships, probably a new friend um, that you have right now or existing friends that maybe you need to let go of some of them. That was really strong, especially um, letting go of a friend. That's not easy. I know that it's not. But again, this is just a message anyway, all right? This is a strong message that I got anyway. It might not resonate for all of you guys. But yeah, so those are the short, strong messages, though, that we have um, using the 
Indigo, Angel, Oracle cards. I totally enjoyed it. Hope you did as well. So thank you so much for watching. Definitely when I do the pick a card readings, we'll also use this Indigo cards in the future. But I don't think I will be doing the pick a card readings on this channel. I'm thinking of creating one pretty soon just for fun. But anyway, um, thank you so much. I hope you actually enjoyed, um, you know, um, the the reading as well as I hope it resonated with you. Um, but if not, just let it fly. Maybe this is not really the message for you at this time. You can choose other piles or if not, you can choose other talented readers out there on YouTube. There's a lot of them, a bunch of them actually. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you again um, next on the next unboxing. Okay. All right. Love and light, everyone. Goodbye.